Hi there and welcome to this tutorial for Fastlane Digital Audio School down in Montpellier, France, an Ableton certified training center. Let's talk about the live set and musical structure of your live set. How to improvise on stage whilst keeping a perfect musical structure. Using the technique I'm going to show you, you'll be able to pre-program the different sections of your live set, build up, drops, break down and improvise, select them on the fly whenever you need. So we'll all agree there are many different ways to play a live set on Ableton Live. You could play from the arrangement view, you could play from the session view, you could automate the clip triggering using the follow actions to pre-prepare a musical structure. But this technique I'm gonna show you is more about living, improvising the structure on stage. You could do this in real time, of course, by assigning the mute switches of each of the tracks to your controller, but that's also quite dangerous because sometimes you'll forget a track on and sometimes you'll forget to mute certain tracks. Well, it's not very precise. So this technique will enable us to pre-prepare certain sections like a drop, like a build up with effects, without effects. We'll have uh, hundreds of possibilities to pre-prepare that structure. So it's actually improvised, but at the same time, controlled and stable. So we'll start by creating a new audio track for each of the tracks that generates a sound. These five first tracks here, are the ones generating sounds for this live set. We have a kick snare here. We'll have a break here with some bass, a bass line, a lead, vocals, and the five of them together. So since we have five tracks generating sounds, I'm gonna create five new audio tracks, common T or control T on a PC. I rename these tracks. Okay, I'm now going to open the ins and outs of each of the tracks using this icon here. This section of the tracks enables us to route the signals through the platform. I'm going to ask the first track to go into the first track I've created and the second one into the second, etc, etc, like so. Right, I'm now going to select all the new tracks I've created and enable them to pass the signal through to their mixing sections here by pressing the monitor in option here. Finally, set all the levels to zero, we're set. Now all the signals are going through these tracks before going to the master, like so. I'm intercepting all of the signals through these tracks. I'm now going to take an audio clip whichever audio clip you want. I'm now going to rename it on and click once on the mute button. Open the envelopes of the clips and set a node here so that clip forces the mute switch to come on. I'm now going to duplicate the clip. I'm now this time going to name it off. And this time I'm going to ask it to bring the mute switch off. So when I start, this clip, it's off, and I start this clip, it's on, you see? Great, I'm now going to copy all these clips onto the new tracks I've created to automate each of the mutes separately, that's it. Now, if I start the sounds, if I start the clips that bear the sounds, and I start one of these two scenes here, the clips are gonna stop, you see? They all stop playing because there's a stop button on each of these clip slots that tells them to stop. So I'm now going to remove all the stop buttons on all these clip slots that way. I can now start making my structure. Let's say, okay, I want a first scene with just a kick and a break. No bass, no leads, no vocals. Next, I want just a bass and the vocals and the leads. I don't want no drums. Next one, I want the kick, the snare. I want the bass, I don't want the break, I want the lead, and I don't want the vocals. That's it. Now, when I start this scene, I get just the two first buttons. So let's start the sound, sorry. Here we go. And the first scene on, that's it. We got kick and break. Now, just the bass and the leads. And now, See, I can really now control what tracks are on, what tracks are off, and really create a really intricate structure for my live set. I'm now going to delete that scene because it's actually quite useless. It's switching all uh, the mutes off. And now I can assign my scenes to my controller. For example, this one here, that one there. You see, I can only do that 
one at a time. There we go. There's no scene here. That's fine. Okay, great. And I can now do my structure using my controller. Look, all on. And I can really create a drop, a build up, etc. etc. If I wanted to, I can also automate the sounds or the effects. Look, I can tell, all right, um, for this scene here, the next one, for instance, I'd like just the breakdown and the, the break in the bass, no lead, no vocals. However, I'd like to have some delay here on the break. Okay, and um, I, I'd like the same scene underneath, but without the effect. So this guy here is going to bring the send down, and that one is going to bring it up. Okay, so we can try that. For example, I'm just going to map this, the last scene I just created here and there. Fantastic. Let's listen to that without the effect. And now with the effect. And you can hear the delay. It's not fantastically said, but there you go. I can do the same thing uh, with effects on the tracks directly. Look, if I bring a, for example, a flanger onto the, the kick track, I want a scene here, just a kick, uh, just a kick and just a lead, for example, right? Nothing else. Oh, I want the lead. There we go. Great. And now I can tell, okay, I want the dry wet to go up on that clip. So once again, I can create, uh, not that much, that much. Great. Good. And now if I trigger that scene, you can hear now the flange and no flange here see so you can automate inserted effects you can automate the send values over to the uh, return tracks you can automate the on and off switches by creating a series of different scenes that way you can really get a proper structure whilst improvising at the same time so i hope you like that technique i hope it changes the way you do things in ableton live it did for me anyway see you again soon on another tutorial for fast lane bye